everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. As you guys can probably tell by the title, I am doing a very highly requested video and I am going to be going over all of the brushes that I keep in my brush belt. I guess I'm just going to start off by saying that this is my brush belt. This is a brush belt that I got off of Amazon. Every single time you guys always ask me where I get stuff, it's probably 99.9% .9 of the time through Amazon, just to let you guys know. I believe that this brush belt is actually about $15, I wanna say. Um, I will be linking it in the description down below. This is my third year of freelancing and I've had this brush belt the entire time I've been freelancing. This guy actually does have an entire zipper that goes around this whole thing. So it's really nice to be able to basically have everything just kind of sealed and locked in here. So I know no brushes are gonna go all over the place. Okay guys, I ended up zooming in a little bit closer so you could see up close and personal what my brushes and my brush belt looked like. First off, I wanted to go over all the tools that I actually have right here. This brush belt is really amazing for having a pocket for business cards. So I do keep all of my business cards in this pocket here. Right down the center here, I have a whole bunch of tools. So first off, I do have a double-ended metal spatula here and that will be used to depot or decant any cream products. Then I also have these little cuticle scissors. I've had these for multiple different purposes. The purpose that I actually carry these for though is to cut lashes and actually Actually, I have a little bit of lash glue that's still stuck to here. I don't know if this is actually supposed to be used for like little tiny brushes or something like that, but it fits my lash glue perfectly. So I usually use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with aloe. The last tool that I keep in here is this lash applicator. This is my Tarte. I like the fact that this one actually does have a curve right here. So when you usually apply lashes, you can pinch the lashes right in between here and just kind of apply them this way. Let me move on to the actual brushes here. So I have a whole bunch of my face brushes on this side and my eye brushes and everything on this side. I feel like it's easier for me to keep track of which one's which by having them in categories like this. A lot of my brushes are synthetic brushes and I would highly recommend that you switch to all synthetic because some people are allergic to natural hairs. I do have a couple of natural hair bristles by MAC so I'm kind of careful about who I put those on but so far they have not broken anybody out or caused any allergic reactions or anything. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the face brushes here. These are all my fluffy brushes here. This one is the It Cosmetics Live Beauty Foley Collection, and it's the number 227 Flawless Blush Brush, and that one looks like this. It's just a nice synthetic angled brush here. This one is actually by Kala or Kala Cosmetics. It was on Shop Miss A for like a dollar. These are my all over powder brushes. So I use these for blush, bronzer, highlighter. This one is an e.l.f. blush brush, I think, yeah blush brush from elf and this one does have a little bit more of a taper to it so in case you guys do a baking method underneath the eyes or on the face anywhere this one actually is really good at wiping off that bake from people's faces this one is the blush brush from Ulta Beauty right here and then these ones right here are actually all highlighter brushes so I have this one which is the Anastasia 823 brush Looks like this, it's a synthetic brush and it's just a little bit more tapered. I love this for highlighting and also setting underneath the eyes. These are actually all from Amazon. I think they're maybe only $8 a piece, I wanna say, maybe less than that, but they're exact dupes for the Anastasia one. Like if I didn't show you guys labels at all, you probably would not be able to tell which one was which. It's by this brand Do Care. Then these ones right here are my um, Morphe M536 brushes here. And this one is just a very dense synthetic brush. It's a little bit more tapered. I love using this thing for foundation if I need to concentrate it in one area. I also use these for any cream, blush, bronzer, or highlighter if I decided to go that direction. Then I also keep these guys here. This one is by e.l.f. right here, and I think this is just a flat foundation brush. I think that's what it's called. And then this one right here is the Ulta Beauty brush. It's just the Ulta Beauty brand and is the foundation brush right here. So I don't actually use these to apply foundation because I feel like using flat foundation brushes like this leaves streaks. Usually what I'll do with these instead is either use these to apply primers to people's faces, so anything that's clear, so like moisturizers, primers, whatever. And then this one and this one I pretty much use for the same purpose. I usually use them to blend out concealer in certain areas or if I'm going in with like a very concentrated product in one area, I'll use them to blend out. Otherwise I like using them to set underneath the eyes as well. So this is the MAC 270S brush. This one is a Morphe E20 brush right here. Then this one right here is my Ecotools brush. 
this one right here, and it's the Seamless Stippling Brush. This one, honestly, I don't use for anything except for primers and moisturizers. It's kind of like a skincare brush for me. And then I do have these two back here. So all the rest of these are going to be highlighting brushes. So this is the MAC 1 through 3 brush. This one is a tapered brush, and I use this for highlighting, as I said before. I also use it for setting powder underneath the eyes as well, or dusting any away if I need to. And then this one I use for the same purpose. So this is the Morphe M510 brush. And again, tapered highlighting brush here. And then the ones next to it here are both the same brush. They're just different years. So this light pink one's a little bit newer and this one's the older packaging. These are both the Real Techniques under eye setting brushes. I use these obviously for setting underneath the eyes. <laughs> and then I also use them for highlighting brushes as well, but you can use them for like anything. These guys don't fit in my actual brush belt. So I have them separately in my makeup kit. These are by Pre face. They're just very dense um, angled foundation brushes here, but I tend to not really use these anymore. I used to, but they kind of got a little bit heavy, especially if you use them with a fuller coverage foundation. Like they're just very, very heavy. And I'm a more natural makeup artist. So all the foundations that I use are usually about sheer to medium coverage. Like I don't usually use like a ton of full coverage foundations unless somebody requests it. Moving on to the eye brush side, all of these are blending brushes. You can literally never have enough. I have the Morphe 518 brush and the Morphe 505 brush. These ones I use for blending out eyeshadow and the crease, obviously they're a little bit more like fluffy. So I would use them for transition colors. This one is a Shop Miss A brush. So this guy was only a dollar. It's the E127 brush here. And then these ones right here, also more fluffy brushes. Literally I have a ton of fluffy brushes so this one is the elf fluffy eye blender right here this one is another one of the shop miss a brushes and to be completely honest this one has a little bit of staining going on so i may not be able to use this one for much longer so this is the aoa studio it's the e126 brush here and then <clears throat> this one is the alamar cosmetics brush and to be completely honest i got this in a boxy charm and it does not have like any name on it. Like I literally have everything rubbed off here. So I can't even tell you guys which one this is. And then this one, I don't have a name for either. Like literally everything just rubbed off of here. I do know that it's an IT Cosmetics eye crease brush. I know that's what it's called. These ones are all kind of different shapes. Um, some of these are not crease brushes. I just have them in one pocket. I kind of throw them all over the place. So this one is a Morphe brush and this one came in a set in a boxy charm as well. I don't know what it's called. These two are my MAC brushes. These have literally been with me for such a long time. This is my MAC 217 brush, literally ride or die brush here. Like it has the perfect taper to it and everything. And you can blend and define in the crease really, really easily with this guy. And this is the 221 brush, also a staple, very defined and everything. This one right here is also the Shop Miss A brush. And this is the E132 brush here. And as you can see, this one is more of like a shorter kind of crease brush. And then these two right here are actually my um, definer brushes underneath the lower lash line. So usually I'll use these either with gel liners if I wanna just do a straight across liner, or I also use these for shadow underneath the eye area. That's mostly what these are used for. This is part of that Alamar Cosmetics set that I was talking about before. So I really don't know what name or number it is or anything, I'm so sorry. Um, and then this is the Morphe 508 brush, and this is a really good little definer brush right here. These guys are more definer brushes here. This is the MAC 239 brush, literally has rubbed off on the handle. You can use this for glitters on the eye, shimmers, anything like that. It can also be a definer and smudger underneath the lash line. This one, honestly, is a very, very cheap brush. I think that one of my roommates got this for me in a set, and it came from maybe Marshalls or something. I don't even have a name or a brand or anything for this. This one is pretty much the same thing. This is a MAC brush here. It's a two one two brush and this one's just a little bit thinner than the other ones and so I love using this for liner so I will just go ahead and go with a gel liner and kind of almost do this kind of motion and pat it back and forth like this and then it gets it really really thin on the end so then I can just almost press it into the lash line then these guys right here are all of my concealer brushes so I use these guys for eyeshadow primer, which usually I use the P. Louise bases, which are primers. And then I also do use these to define the brows, so carve up underneath them. And then I also use them to basically put foundation on the face and then I'll blend it out with a sponge. So this one, believe it or not, is an actual paintbrush. It is made with natural hair bristles, which I honestly did not think about before I got it. Again, luckily nobody's broken out with it or anything, but this is one of the Lola Cornell brushes. But this one honestly is my favorite. It is synthetic and this is the Sigma F75 brush. Moving down to the bottom row here, I have these guys right here 
And these ones are honestly used for the exact same purpose, um, but you can't unfortunately buy these alone. So this one comes in all of the Anastasia palettes, those felt ones. So like the Subculture, the uh, Modern Renaissance, or the Soft Glam palette. And this one is an Urban Decay brush here. So these ones actually do come in the Urban Decay Naked palettes. And yeah, unfortunately, as I said before with the Anastasia ones, you cannot buy these alone, unfortunately. These are all brow brushes. I have these guys right here for brow brushes. So these are all angled brow brushes with spoolies on the other ends of them. This is the Anastasia number 12 brush right here. It's a little bit stiffer. Then I have one of the Shop Miss A brushes right here. It's the E133 brush. And then this one right here is another Anastasia brush. And I don't know what number this is because for some odd reason, it does not have a number on it. This one is actually one of my favorites that I found recently. It's off of Amazon, of course. The only thing is these are pretty cheaply made. I had to glue the top part and the bottom part almost on every single one of these brushes I received because they kind of started coming apart with their glue. They're not glued on super tightly. But honestly, since I've done that, I really haven't had any issues with them. These guys right here are all eyeliner brushes. I usually only work with gels. I don't have any pencil eyeliners hardly in my kit. I usually like angled brushes and those are my favorites for drawing on gel liner. First of all, this is the only one that's kind of sort of an angled brush, but it's not really. It's super, super tiny. I don't know if you guys can like really see that or not. This is the Sigma winged liner brush. This is the E06 brush right here. So that one I usually use for liner if I'm going straight across. Not really good for wings because I liked angled brushes. Then this one is honestly my favorite and Max stopped carrying the natural hair bristles, but it's, this is the MAC 263 brush. This guy is super, super thin. You can draw on wing liner really, really easily with this. This one right here is the MAC 266S brush right here. When MAC recreated these synthetic brushes, they all aren't as thin for some reason. I think it's just the material they're made out of. I ended up finding my all-time favorite eyeliner brushes. This is the Eggshell Beauty or Eggshell Beauty. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. Um, it's the angled eyeliner brush. It's the E835 brush. And my goodness, look at how thin this guy is. Like, look. They're made out of a pretty like flimsy kind of material too. They're all synthetic. If you guys really wanna invest in these, these are really good. And then these ones right here are all lip brushes. This one is actually from Amazon. And um, yeah, this guy was super inexpensive. I think it was like $5 or something. This one is honestly one of my favorite brushes for lipsticks. So this is the Morphe 124 brush. This one again came in that Olimar Cosmetics set, as I said before, still don't know the name of any of these, but it has the same brown dome shape. And then this one is the Morphe 421 brush right here. And then the last one I have right here is part of that Morphe set that I also do not know the name of because it came in a boxy charm. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed going through my brush belt with me. If you guys really enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up as well as also hitting that subscribe button. I do upload a ton of makeup artist related content on this channel. So if you guys are interested or just starting off as a makeup artist, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I provide a ton of helpful resources when you guys are first starting out and building your business, starting as a makeup artist, building your kit, etc. I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.